This is our Tix EV globally. So we said that we would expand our lineup from four to eight by 2022. So this is number six. So we are very happy because this is a privileged moment. At the same time in our plan to our 2022, we said we wanted a BC to fight our corner in Europe because the many, many competitors are coming and we, it's normal. It's good because the market will grow and the segment will grow. But at the same time, we wanted to penetrate the China market because this is the simple, simply said, the largest EV market worldwide with a very strong growth. Last year, it was 69%. Since the beginning of the year, the market here in China for EVs is growing 168% and is already reaching about 4% of the total market in pure EV. So for us, it's a kind of uh, no choice. You have to be into this market. Now, if you want to enter in and penetrate this market, you have to bring something different. Today, we are featuring Renault City KZ car. So now it's a car, it's a production car. So we are featuring it. We are going to introduce in China before the end of this year. And it's very important because we wanted to target uh, what we call a segment car, which is affordable e-mobility. Uh, SUV like, so very strong design in terms of giving some good emotional cues on, the, on flavor. Obviously, a lot of uh, internal goodies in multimedia and the like, as you can imagine. Plus, the backing of the Renault standards, which is international gen ventures uh, derived from our partnership in, uh, in EV in Europe for the last 10 years. And now, as you know, we are leader in, in Europe in the EV. So all this experience we intend to bring here in China. But to do that, we had to do a gen venture. So we made a special gen venture with our Donfeng partner, Nissan and Renault what we call EGT, E-Golden Triangle, with the objective to develop this car in order to be able to compete in China against the Chinese car migrant. We are, as you know, in Renault, uh, championing the affordable mobility. And then we want to champion as well the affordable e-mobility. We don't want e-electric vehicles just to remain for selected few. We want electric vehicles to be uh, cost competitive, affordable. Or we think we have a potential here to go global. And this is why we are going to study many, many markets.